your hands together for Sam Stover! How's everybody doing tonight, huh? I want to get a show of hands from the crowd here. Uh, how many of you have ever had crabs? <laughs> Nobody? All right, all right, all right, good. Because uh, cause neither have I. Those people, those people are just weird. <laughs> have, ever, have any of you ever sharted? You know, when you fart and a little shit comes out? <laughs> Come on, be honest with me. Nobody's ever sharted. All right, yeah, yeah, so is this guy. Yeah, hey, I'm sorry. Um, has anybody ever, sh uh, anybody ever sharted crabs? Like when you fart and some crabs come out? All right, good. So we got a good crowd tonight, right? Yeah, good crowd. We got a, got a little announcement for everybody. Um, just recently, I got engaged. Thank you. Thank you. Um, when I told my mom about this, she, uh, of course, congratulated me, but she went on to explain to me that she was scared of meeting the parents because she didn't know what they would bring over to their house for dinner. And I told her, Mom, it's okay, just make your specialty. Make a chicken corn soup. That's her specialty, chicken corn soup. <laughs> and she said, Sam, Sam, did I not teach you better than this? There are rules, Sam. There are rules that you need to follow when you go over to somebody's house for dinner. So rule number one, you can't, you can't bring a main course. It might seem like you're trying to compete with them. And then, well, well, of course, you can't make a side item. It might not complement the meal. And uh, I guess you can't bring drinks because they might not drink. And, well, you can't bring a dessert because they might be on a diet. So turns out all you can bring is a toupee. <laughs> hey, you like that toupee? <laughs> I thought that would go well there. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm doing pretty well. About two years ago, I uh, moved from Georgia to Hoboken, New Jersey. And, uh, I'll tell you, the people in New Jersey are some of the nicest people you'll ever meet in your life. Every morning when I walk out of the house, uh, my, my next door neighbors greet me on the way out the door. They're like, hey, Thunderfeet. What the hell are you doing stomping around up there all morning? When are you gonna put some damn rugs down? And then, uh, then when I walk out the front door, there's an entire family of Italians trying to take a picture with the Frank Sinatra star on the sidewalk. <laughs> like, yeah, everybody gather in. We're going to get a picture with the star. <laughs> but, you know, that's just uh, stereotypical New Jersey. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I had a lot, of, uh, a lot of stereotypes about New Yorkers as well when I moved here. Uh, wh one in particular that I was right about is that New Yorkers piss on the street. And uh, I'll admit, I've pissed on the street a few times since I moved here, too. <laughs> and so I was right about that, but where I was wrong is I thought that, I always thought that New Yorkers pissed on the street out of desperation. <laughs> that they, no, they had no place else to piss. Turns out it's a personal preference. And I thought about that. When I lived in Georgia, I pissed in the woods. And I think there's just something about us guys that we prefer to piss outdoors. Am I wrong, guys? <laughs> prefer to piss outside. Well, we don't have woods in New York, so we just make do with what we have. We use the street. Which brings me to the conclusion that New Yorkers are just fast-paced rednecks. <laughs> but now there is a big difference between pissing in the woods and pissing on the street. I mean, obviously pissing on the street is illegal. And there is a chance that you could get caught by the cops. Thing is, that chance is very small. I mean, heck, I've done it four or five times. I've never been caught. I'd say you have probably a one in 10 chance of being caught by the cops while pissing on the street in New York. Now, if you do get caught, it's only a $50 fine. So do the math, you're only paying about $5 per piss. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay $5 to take a piss. If you want to go into a bar just to use their bathroom, they're gonna make you buy a drink. That'll run you 10, 10, 15 bucks. You might as well just take the cheaper $5 alternative and piss outside like nature intended. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> and, um, did you ever notice the similarity between pissing on the street and telling a racial joke? Uh, either way, before you start, you gotta look over both shoulders. <laughs> 
it's, it's, it's very confusing. So uh, I want to eliminate this confusion by proposing to the city of New York that we issue a personalized piss pass. That piss pass will be a laminated card with your name on it that entitles you to piss in any of the five boroughs in New York City without being caught by the cops for one flat monthly rate. <laughs> Just imagine the possibilities here. We can give these out as Christmas presents. Be like, hey man, for Christmas, I got you three months of piss pass. Merry Christmas, buddy. <laughs> Heck, we could incorporate the piss pass into the New York City tourism pass. Because if you're gonna come visit the Statue of Liberty, why not piss on it? <laughs> I mean, if you're gonna climb up to the top of the Empire State Building, why not piss off of it? I mean, heck, if you're feeling really frisky, piss on Regis. He'd probably enjoy it. I'll give you a free month if you can piss on Kelly. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot, guys.